On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, where in the world is APL Vanda? I'm your host, Sal McCoglana. Welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. If you're new to the channel, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. So I've received a couple of notes from people regarding a specific ship, the APL Vanda of CMA CGM lines. And I've raised this question, and it's a very where in the world is Carmen San Diego type question. Where is APL Vanda, and what the hell is going on with her schedule? Now, she made the news recently, and what I want to do is just highlight what's going on with this particular ship. If you're new to the channel, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. All right, let's find out where the APL Vanda is. So last week, this story hit the news. This is Mike Schuller's story over on G-Captain. Ultra-large container ship APL Vanda loses boxes overboard in Indian Ocean. A CMA CGM operated mega container ship apparently lost an undisclosed number of containers overboard. We know now it's uh, 55, I believe, is the number we found out. The revelation puts to rest several questions regarding APL Vanda's status. Mm, nope, not quite. After it unexpectedly arrived at Djibouti Anchorage on July 6th, an update from CMA CGM on July 7th said the vessel suffered, quote, an unexpected incident. Yes, when containers fall overboard, that is unexpected. That's not supposed to happen. The amount of containers you load in a port should be on board when you arrive at the next port. If not, you have an unexpected incident. The ship was traveling westbound on July 3rd during its delay in northern, uh, delaying its uh, arrival in northern Europe by two weeks. No, nope, it's going to be more than that, actually. Casualty management firm WK Webster reported Thursday that 17,292 TEU capacity ship lost an unknown number of containers overboard on or about July 3rd. Working to verify, we now know 55 containers were lost overboard. Lodestar continued reporting on this incident has on multiple occasions pointed out that CMA CGM has been usually tight-lipped about the incident. There's an update here, a little on the bottom I want to jump to. On 3 July, APL Vanda reported 55 containers from a single bay, single bay, fell overboard while the vessel was facing heavy weather and route from Singapore to Suez just before entry to the Gulf of Aden. No injury had been reported. All crew members are safe. The vessel has stopped in Djibouti to clear some damaged containers on deck before safely continuing her voyage. We are working with all relevant, uh, relevant authorities who have been informed of the situation. Now, let's be clear about something. The amount of containers that fall off vessels is actually quite small. So Sea Trade Maritime News had this story the other day, and I posted it in one of my uh, uh, videos and online somewhere. But container ships, uh, containers lost at sea increased 400% in 2020 to 2021. And, and while that does sound like a, a lot, uh, in truth, it represents a very small number. While losses overboard account for less than point, point, zero zero one percent of all 241 million containers annually the incidents can result in highly costly insurance claims and that's true obviously if you lose your container overboard that is of grave importance to you but in terms of large numbers it's not a lot it's not a lot even with the uptick we saw recently largely due to some very catastrophic losses uh like one apis like merrick essen you don't lose that many however What's going on with APL Vanda is interesting. So APL Vanda is owned by CMA CGM, a very interesting company. If you ever want to do a little bit of history of it, I'll have this link in the show notes. This is the history of CMA CGM. Uh, and this is a, a company that's basically the owned by uh, a, a particular family, the Saad family. Uh, it was founded by Jacques Saad and his son now runs it. A uh, Saad family is a, a French Lebanese uh, derivation. And uh, they've run CMA CGM uh, for quite a while and has developed into one of the largest container ship companies in the world. Pretty massive. And CMA CGM has been making the news recently, obviously, for a lot of reasons. Number one, profits. The story back in June, uh, French-based CMA CGM, one of the world's largest container lines, reported a net profit of $7.2 billion for the first quarter up from $2.1 in the year earlier period and also surpassing the $6.7 billion posted for the last quarter of 2021. Second quarter results probably coming out soon. Probably see a tremendous increase over that. CMA CGM ships, I should also mention, are some of the most beautiful ships. They are just stunning. I love their paint job on them. And their hull design is just phenomenal. 
But they also made the news with this one when France asked them to lower their rates because of the backing of the French government. It's a French company. Uh, they were asked to lower their freight rates to France to help their citizens. And they agreed to do this, uh, basically lowering it about $250 per box is what it amounted to. Now, CMA CGM has also come back against this windfall tax proposal that came out. There's a Bloomberg story that came out where they're kind of going against this idea. A group of French lawmakers is calling for a temporary tax as much as 25% on what it calls super profits of energy and transport giants, including CMA CGM. So obviously they, you know, they don't want to pay taxes. Who does? Uh, but especially when you have that amount of money. So CMA CGM in the news quite a bit recently. However, the APL Vanda is another story. Remember, we said that this event happened in early July. Well, this is APL Vanda report. Here she is on the live map. She is still sitting at Djibouti. Now, this is over two weeks. And the vessel supposedly lost containers from a single bay. However, she is pierside right now in Djibouti. You can see right here. Let me get aside there. There she is in Djibouti. This is at the very southern end of the Red Sea. And obviously, there's more damage here than what was reported. Uh, they reported a single bay. That would be a single area, a single stack coming down, losing 55 containers. Now, understand when you lose the containers overboard, usually there's also tap the toppling of other containers. And you've got to get them off, straighten them up before you can go. That involves bringing cranes in and offloading containers. This is taking a long time. And the reason I'm mentioning this story today is because I've received numerous notes, not just from an individual, but from numerous people, that they can't get information from CMA, CGM on this vessel. What's the status? Where is she going? What is happening? And so when you look at her schedule, this is her schedule that's posted and one of the things you'll see right here is she was slated to be in Southampton this time. She was supposed to be in Southampton. She left Singapore on June 26. She was supposed to be here at this time. Her updated schedule has her arriving at the Suez on the 25th. But again, we're not sure that's going to happen. And then handing to Tangier in Morocco, Rotterdam in the Netherlands, Antwerp in Belgium, La Havre, and then heading back to Suez. She's going to bypass Southampton. And a lot of the notes I've been getting from people in Southampton wanting to know when they will get their goods. Now, obviously, this is this is important for shippers. They want to know where their cargo is, but it's also a part of the reliability and customer service of the line. Uh, Lodestar has been following this quite a bit. Uh, this is the Lodestar story talking about that CMA CGM admits this is back in uh, uh, on July 15th that uh, it's not until July 15th, again, this is almost two weeks after it happened, that they have cleared up the issue here and have admitted now that the ship had suffered a loss of containers. But this follow-up story here, again, on the 19th, just two days ago, is angry shippers are kept in the dark over the cargo. Frustrated shippers and freight forwarders have written to the Lodestar in an effort to discover what happened to their cargo after the French container line CMA CGM continues to obfuscate, great use of word there, over the APL Vanda incident. Bangladeshi freight forwarder, freight forwarders are kind of like travel agents for containers, wrote in desperation asking if we could trace his container while a cargo owner called a carrier to ask when his box would arrive, was asked, how long is a piece of string? I'm not sure what that means, but that's what the answer was. Gary Payne of the UK-based uh, Bon International, a shipper with cargo on board, said he had telephoned several CMA CGM offices to find out about the status of the cargo, eventually being told by an employee in the Liverpool office if he hadn't been contacted, then it meant his container was not one of the 55 lost. Again, that's great. But is my container one of the ones that got toppled and everything in it is crushed and damaged? Uh, I mean, because, again, just because you lose 55 doesn't mean that's the, the limit of it. Uh, when I asked when my container would arrive, they said, I don't know, then 8 August, maybe. So, again, <laughs> this is this is this is customer service, people. This is a big issue we're seeing. Uh, and this all goes to the reliability. This is the Sea Intelligence latest report on reliability of container shipping. And, and one of the things that we notice here is that container shipping had gone roughly between 70, 80 percent reliability. That is until 2020 when it went down. I mean, just precipitously down and remain basically between 30 and 40% last year, and now is still hovering actually below where it was the year before. 
And what we're seeing here is not only is the services being unreliable, they're being late. We have saw, saw the max here of almost eight days uh, for late and it's still up there quite a bit. But then when you come to the individual service lines and you look at CMA, CGM, for example, they were basically, their, uh, their carrier score here was almost 35% last year, but now has increased to over that. And so I guess this is an appeal to CMA, CGM. If you're watching this video, contact your shipping uh, clients, contact the beneficial cargo owners, and let them know what the hell's going on with the APL Vanda. I, I, I mean, they really, if it's going to be late, it's going to be late. I mean, just be upfront with them and tell them, listen, we're sorting out boxes. We, we know, you know, you know, let them know if you're their container is safe. Let them know if their containers, we're not sure. It's in a buried stack. We're trying to get to it now. You should be able to sit there and say, if it's only one bay that's involved, that means it's cargo destined for one port. So at the very least, you should be able to tell everybody else in the other ports, hey, your cargo is good. It's just going to be delayed till we clear this. And give status updates. For some reason, shipping companies don't like to do this. When it was involving Ever Given in the Suez, Ever Forward in the uh, uh, outside of Baltimore, when any of these times these things happen, shipping companies just clamp up and they don't want to talk. And I have to say, it's a terrible way to do business. Now, I'm not a billionaire owner of a shipping company. I'm not anybody except a guy who runs a YouTube channel who has very little influence on anything. However, I would think bad press is something you'd want to avoid. Shipping companies have done great jobs in maintaining this, the global supply chain. They did it during the height of COVID. I don't understand why shipping companies are so anathema to telling anybody anything about a status of cargo. I really don't. I don't understand it. And you're just really creating problems for your customers, which I would think you wouldn't want to do. Because even though there's only nine big shipping companies out there, there's eight other ones other than CMA, CGM. And you should really be thinking about that. Because accidents happen. This is a, it's an industry. Accidents will always happen. Be clear with your, your customers. Let them know what's going on. And for heaven's sake, just post an update when APL Vanda is going to sail. Because we can see she's at the pier in Djibouti. It's not hard. It's technology, people. Hope you enjoyed this today's episode. If you're CMA, CGM, probably not. If you're the shipping guys who have cargo on board, I know you did. So if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share it across social media. And if you can, support the page by either contributing directly to the page by hitting that super thanks button below or heading over to patreon and becoming a patron of the page to help support it so that we can bring information like this to you and again i'm not again cma cgm i love all the big shipping companies i love shipping companies i love ships but again just get out there and inform everybody about what's going on Till our next video sal signing off